sorry about that black screen, everybody. We're just going to wait here, see if she finishes her drink and then gets up and comes back this way. And that will give me a chance to scan with the thermal FLIR camera whether or not the other lionesses are heading here. The ground is still very hot from the day of sun. And so I can't see much other than hot bushes and hot rocks. Or as they say in South Africa, hot rocks. Cubs just so playful, aren't they? Yeah, she's coming back this way. She's constantly, constantly looking in the direction of where she thinks her deeply irksome, lazy sisters are. She's not nearly as fat as they are either. We went to see the two of them, you would have seen that at the beginning of the drive, and they were massive. That's an interesting one from James. Yes, I suppose it's possible. You say, is there a reason that she's on cub duty, you know, all the time? Is it maybe that she's the mother of the youngest set? That is possible. Um, I remember, though, interestingly, that the two that stayed with her were definitely clearly from different litters. They're different sizes. So, yeah, she might be the one with the youngest. Maybe she's just got a stronger maternal, stronger maternal instinct. That's possible. Uh, maybe she's, yeah, I don't know what it is. But same one who came back this morning from the kill early. And I don't know, I mean, I don't recognize her well enough to know whether she was more involved yesterday evening or not. But she has got a distinctive scar or injury on the back right leg which is quite interesting. So she is quite easily identifiable. One of the others has got one over the right eye, which is quite interesting also. She keeps looking, hoping. I now can't see anything other than the flare because it's now dark. You see, she's not lying in that sort of open pose that allows access to her teats. That's because I think they're just too many cubs, too many needle-like teeth having a go at them. And while it might look quite fun to have all those little things sort of, um, <laughs> all those little things climbing all over you, I imagine once the teeth start to work it becomes very unpleasant indeed. Yeah, Paula, I think that goes, I think that's probably true for most mammals. You say, are they like humans in that the more they nurse, the more milk they will produce? Yes, I think to a certain extent that's true. I don't think any lioness, however, was designed to produce sufficient milk for nine cubs. And so, I, I mean, if the other two, let's say they were abducted by aliens or they dropped dead, she'd find it very, very difficult to raise even four of these. I'm just going to be quiet and let her listen for a while. See, immediately she just gets irritated and stands up. cubs just like human children don't understand why their mother has got anything other than boundless energy, masses of food and why she should ever show any vague irritation with them. It's almost like she wants to go and call them. As Rebecca says, it's almost like she wants to get into the vehicle and drive away with us. I think that's probably quite true. She's very sick and tired of this malarkey.
I believe it's still light all the way two and a half thousand miles down to South Africa and Steph has managed to find himself a bird in the sunset.